Good morning, welcome back to another video. We are in Brayden's room this morning. Um, we have some bed frames to build today. So Donnie went to our storage back in Oregon yesterday. It's about seven hours away. So he left yesterday morning. Oh, I just ran up the stairs, so I'm like <laughs> out of shape, clearly. Um, he rented a big cargo, cargo trailer and he left yesterday morning to go to our storage and he got a ton of stuff. Um, and he's gonna be back here in the next like four hours. And um, he's got all our mattresses, dressers, um, washer and dryer, dining room table, like tons of our stuff. And then in like next weekend, we're going back again to get the rest of it. Um, it ended up being a lot cheaper this way than renting like a U-Haul truck or something like that. It was gonna be like, I think it was like $4,000 to get like the biggest U-Haul truck that we would, would have needed. Um, so anyways, that's that. I've got to build Brayden's bed frame and our bed frame because both of those have been delivered already. And then Berkeley's and Brody's are gonna be delivered today. So we'll be building those later. But for the last two nights that we've been in the house, we've just been sleeping on our mattresses from the trailer, which has worked out totally fine. Um, so I'm just gonna get that stuff cleared out of here. Um, oh, he also got, okay, you guys remember the black and white rug that we had at the house? The, the last rug that we had <laughs> before we moved out. It was like white with like super dark gray, like triangle kind of shapes on there. Braden's gonna have that rug in his room because his room is just a little bit bigger than Berkeley and Brody's room. Um, everyone has their own, the kids will have their own rooms in this house. And so he's getting that rug because we already have it and it's big. So it fits in here, it's like an eight by 10. So I think that's gonna fit in here. I think it might be like wall to wall. Anyways, he's having that one. Brody got a new rug, Brooke got a new rug um, cause they didn't have any. And then the gray like shaggy rug we're gonna put that was in our bedroom at the last house that's gonna go in our bedroom here too. So anyways, I'm just gonna be building furniture this morning, building beds, and then whenever Donnie gets here, we'll be unloading the trailer. Um, I'm gonna get to work building this first bed. So while I am working on building Braden's bed, I have to tell you guys about what happened just two days after we moved into our new house. So we moved in on a Tuesday, and then on, well, I guess it was Wednesday night, so the day after we moved in, that night, um, one of the kids was in the bath upstairs, and I was downstairs, like, cleaning up the kitchen, and I noticed that there was, like, a water bubble in the ceiling, like, in the hallway, and I was like, my first thought immediately was just, oh my gosh, the bathtub is, like, leaking upstairs, so... I had them get out of the bath, we drained the bath, and I got like on our rental like portal and did like a maintenance request and it, like you can like attach pictures of like what the issue is or whatever. There wasn't water like leaking through the ceiling, but there was like bubbles in like the paint of the ceiling, like multiple of them, and then like the seams where like the drywall, um, you know, like goes together in the ceiling that they like put this tape stuff and then they do like the texture over it um you could tell like the seams had water in it I was like oh my gosh like this is not happening right now so the next morning um a plumber came out so while I was actually building this bed the plumber <laughs> was there and he had to cut a hole in the ceiling turns out it was not the bathtub just was a coincidence that that happened like while the bath was happening and so that's why I thought it was the bath but it wasn't so it was actually the AC condensate like pipe that goes from the furnace upstairs into the ceiling and then it like there's like an elbow piece and it turns and then it goes out and like drains outside so the condensation from the AC like drains out of there out of that pipe well there was a crack in the pipe so it was leaking into the ceiling so the plumber fixed that but then there was holes in the ceiling and obviously like the the water damage had to be repaired so um 
yeah, I will show that to you guys a little bit later in this video, but it was pretty crazy that that happened like the day after we moved in. It was like 105 degrees out for like two days, the day we moved in and the following day. So the AC was just like really working. Um, there was a lot of condensation obviously, but there was a crack in the pipe. So anyways, I was super impressed with how quickly our rental company had a plumber out here the next morning and how quickly they like took care of everything. So that is super awesome. is done it was fairly easy to put together pretty straightforward it looks like a lot of pieces but these like slats were just they just like snap in to these little holes so that's nice and it's like a textured metal i like it and then with the black and uh, black and white rug in here and he picked out a green duvet cover and then he's gonna have a nightstand and then his two shelves. He's gonna have one right here, one right here to display all of his um, Ninja Turtles and Funko Pops and all of that stuff. And then all of his Lego sets are in storage. So we're gonna get those next weekend and then he'll be able to do that. And then we're gonna do a dresser on this wall with his TV. So that's the plan in here. But first bed is done. So this is the rug that we got Berkeley from Amazon. It has all her favorite colors in it. She picked it out. I just brought all the pieces to build her bed into her room. So we're gonna get that done now. So she also wants her bed centered. his bed 
and then my friend Candy showed up and brought me a drink um, from Fizz and then we tried for a while while the guy was working, the plumber was working on stuff. So he fixed the cracked pipe, drywallers, today's Thursday, the drywallers are coming on Monday. The project manager showed up here while Candy was here and the plumber was here. So I had a house full of people and um, like the builder guy, the main guy was checking it all out who was like apologizing and I am honestly so impressed with how quickly they were out here to get this fixed um, and just how nice everybody has. I mean, not just this situation, but just in general, since we've been in Idaho, everyone is so nice. It's a breath of fresh air, honestly. So everything's getting fixed. There are two holes in the ceiling downstairs. Um, I'll show you guys that later, but right now, Donnie's gonna be here in like 20 minutes. The kids, I gotta leave in like, I gotta leave in like 30 minutes to go get the boys from school. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get Brody's bed built. Um, so that's done before they get home from school. So done with Berkeley, done with Braden's. Been working on that all day, but then had like the plumber and the project manager guy and my friend here. So let's get Brody's bed built. Oh yeah, this is Brody's rug that he picked from Amazon. I thought you loved me. You love me. Ooh, I honestly thought that you love me. So why would you make me? Go to stupid parties with your homies. When you know, when you know, when you know, I'm way too shy to function right. When you know, when you know, when you know, I'll probably mess up your night, baby. All right, so I was about to start building Brody's bed earlier, and then Donnie got here with the truck and trailer, and it was just too much to try to rush and get this bed done. So I had to go get the boys from school and then I went and got Berkeley from school. Um, Donnie's been unloading the trailer into the garage and then we're slowly like bringing stuff in. So we got the boys display shelves that used to be for my boutique, if you guys remember. So we just brought this one up here. Uh, Donnie and I did, Brody brought up the like wood pieces. Um, so I'm gonna put his shelf over in that corner and then get his bed built. So, back to work. I ordered pizza for, I know you guys are up there. I ordered pizza for Donnie and the kids. Um, I did some meal prep last night, so I'm gonna have that, but the rest of tonight, we're just gonna be working on moving in some more. <laughs> working on building this bed um cuss words were flying not gonna lie this bed was a pain in you know what to build um i'm not going to be linking this bed for you guys because i i mean when it was all said and done it turned out good and it's cute and all of that but building it it was not a good time. Brayden's bed and Berkeley's bed were super easy to build, as well as mine and Donnie's bed, which isn't in this video. Actually, I made a time lapse of it on my phone for Instagram, so I'll include it um, later in this video, but I do not re recommend this bed, um, so don't buy this one. But Brayden's and Bra I will link all of the beds that I like <laughs> in the description.
God, Brody's bed was such a pain to put together. Brayden and Brooklyn's beds. I thought I ordered all of the exact same beds. Apparently not, because they were all different instructions. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That was a lot, but it's put together. So now we need to get his mattress up here. Got Brooklyn's mattress in here. I need to put new sheets on. Got Brayden's mattress in here on his bed. He's been working on his shelf. Oh, we got prime, boys. We got prime. <laughs> Looks cool. I have gotten the energy, prime energies, and he has collected the cans that I have gotten prime energies for to match his prime hydration. Don't worry, I did not drink <laughs> That's right. Okay, so I'm going to put Brayden's new bedding on and get the rug in here. So I will show you guys that a little bit later. I am so wore out, Donnie's so wore out. We still have a lot of stuff to unpack. So I will give you guys like an update on things that I do later. But for right now, I'm just gonna put the camera away and just try to get some more stuff done. Just gonna show you guys what I did last night. So we still need to bring Braden's rug. There's a, there's a whole lot we still gotta do. This is gonna be a major <laughs> work in progress, this entire house. But got Braden's bed made. His duvet cover, or his duvet down comforter is in a box somewhere. I don't know where it is. So he's just using his other like old blankets for now, but this is his duvet cover. Um, nightstand is gonna go here. Another display shelf, dresser and then he wants to get a desk to go right here. And then like his name sign and whatever else. And then Berkeley's duvet, duvet cover. This is from Amazon. I'll link all this stuff in my Amazon shop for you. Her bed, her rug. Um, so she's gonna have a little nightstand and then dresser probably here. Um, or there, depending. Or maybe over here. I don't know. I don't know where her furniture is going to go yet. But for now, you know, and then her little name sign. But all of that is done. Love the colors. And then Brody's bed. Not my favorite to put together, but we made it work. It's like this, uh, well, it's not really showing up on here, but it's like this dark grayish color it looks lighter on camera than it is um, and then his rug his new duvet cover and down comforter he's got all of his stuff he worked on this for so long yesterday like setting up all his dinosaurs to look like they're battling and like the babies and the moms and all of that um, and then he'll have another shelf he'll have his nightstand which we're gonna bring the nightstands up here today they're in the garage and then I think he's gonna have um another display shelf shelf either right here or over on this wall so for now that's that oh and then his dresser is gonna go right there so now let me show you the downstairs water leak situation so the plumber came yesterday and said that it was the ac condensate drain was cracked and so it was like leaking into the ceiling from the ac like the furnace is up, furnace room is up here and there's like a pipe that goes down into the floor for like the condensation from the AC and that's what was leaking into the ceiling. It wasn't the bathtub like I thought it was. Um, so he cut two holes in the ceiling because um, first he cut this one to see if it was the bath drain pipe and it wasn't. So then he cut this one and it was the AC which goes like the pipe goes like out and it like drips out there. So you can see the seams in the ceiling right here where the water was 
um, bubbling, but this was like a huge water bubble. That was a big water bubble, which is now like seeping out more. Um, so yeah, we're just letting it dry out through the weekend. So on Monday, the drywall guys are coming to start cutting open the ceiling to fix it. Um, and then the painters will have to come after that. So they said it's probably gonna be like a four day job. Luckily we don't have any furniture in here yet. So it'll be easier for them. We got the dining room table in here last night. We don't, haven't brought the chairs in yet, but today's Brody's birthday. So this morning we had like cinnamon rolls out on the table and saying happy birthday. Got cupcakes for after school. He opened some cards from grandparents. He wants to go to his new favorite coffee shop and get a smoothie after school go shopping at Target and um, go to dinner. So that's the plan after school. But this is our uh, living room furniture right now. <laughs> Berkeley brought down one of her rugs from her room that's gonna go in her closet. And then we have one of the kids' TVs out here. So um, we did go and look at furniture today. Donnie and I, we went and returned the car that I rented. Um, my hair is very frizzy this morning. Went and returned the car that I rented while Donnie was gone. And then we went and returned the trailer that we rented to move a bunch of our stuff here. The garage is full of our stuff. We're gonna be bringing all that in today. Um, and then we went to two different furniture stores and looked at couches and I'm pretty positive I've found the one that we want. So we're gonna wait till after this situation is done before we bring like rugs and couches and whatever into this area but um did get the bar stools from amazon got those all built progress so we're gonna go work on um bringing more stuff into the house but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed and i'll see you guys again very soon in my next video bye